So the death of Zachary Stoner, a.k.a. Zach TV, is it's actually a learning lesson. It's a learning lesson in many different forms. Um, only the enlightened could uh, watch other people's mistakes and learn from them before they make their own mistakes. And this goes for anybody that, you know, is in this type of business um, that promotes certain type of genres of music and certain type of lifestyle. Now, um, we all know Zach TV, you know, definitely was a crutch for Chicago and helping them achieve a lot of success in the up and coming rappers. You know, he was a voice for Chicago and he was in a lot of um a lot of situations where, you know, I mean it was a lot of touchy things that other news covers won't cover and he was willing to do that. You know, that's the type of guy he was. But this is a learning lesson because, you know, he lost his life in the city that he he truly loved. You know, he didn't wanna uh, live nowhere else. He had obtained enough fame, and I be- believe that his money was right that he could have got go out of the city and go into a nice little local spot. You know, what I mean, where it's not a lot of noise and and, and make money from behind the sc- the scenes. But um, he took a different type of road. Now, this is a learning lesson to anybody that's watching this video because. It shows you that in this time that we're living in, people don't respect what you do for them. People are selfish and very inconsiderate when it comes to a lot of things, man. At the end of the day, Zach being dead is not a is not is not is not um a good thing for Chicago because now. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, Zach had a big, wide platform. He had 175,000 people subscribe to him. All right? He had a, a, he had a, a, a 80,000 people following him on Instagram. So his platform was pretty big, man. And to see somebody just, you know what I mean, try to set him up and line him like how he did and went out for all he have done, you know what I mean, is very wrong. But it's also a learning lesson, man, that you cannot... Um, when when you have a certain you reach a certain type of status in your life and your career and what you do and you're good at what you do, people are gonna jealous you for any little thing to take you off this planet. You know, black people have a curse with them where they don't want to see another man wins and they'll look for any type of excuse to justify why this man um, have to go home. You know, it's unfortunate that this tragedy, you know, what I mean, has sh- struck his family, his friends. You know what I'm saying? You, you, at the end of the day, everybody has some type of form of family, man. And Zach but never struck me as a gang bang or anything like that. I'm not saying that he's innocent, but what I'm saying is that With it. the speculations that why he died is irrelevant. The most important thing is that you kill... Uh, is, is, is a black... Most likely is a black man killed another black man, man. And it's maybe for, for, for from some petty some petty things that's not irrelevant because at the end of the day you taking a man life that haven't done anything to you you know you just jealous him from 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 his success and stuff like that it's wrong you know what i'm saying and this is a learning lesson once you in the hood the the end goal is to get out all right the end goal is to get the fuck out of chicago bro the end goal is to get the fuck out of any type of hood, if it's New York, if it's Baltimore, if you have a platform where you can use it, but utilize your talent, your talents, you know what I mean, whatever it will be to bring you revenue, that's an asset to you. You got to protect that and you also got to protect your life because all those subscribers that Zach had, all those fans and supporters he had, now it's just simply putting RIP or long live Zach. You know what I mean? There's nothing more they could do. So he died at a young age where he, you know what I mean, he reached a certain type of platform where he could have, you know, get out of the hood, took a break from Chicago and, and doing what he do. But no, he still wanted to be inside the hood. You know, and you're going to make enemies, man. People are going to hate on you because you, you, you're dressing good. You may be fucking certain type of bitches they can't fuck. You, but maybe certain type of bitches throw pussy at you. You know what I'm saying? But just to get put on and other niggas see that is an all different type of thing. But it's all stemmed from jealousy, man. Because if Zach was not known like that and all that, I bet something like this would not happen, man. 
you know, but it's all over news, and this is where it came to, you know what I'm saying? So this is a learning lesson. You have to be aware of your surroundings first and foremost. If you famous, man, and, and you in the media and you're doing things that is hot, be careful, man. Don't be going to parties and, and dropping your locations and driving unaware of what is your round, you know what I mean? Especially in Chicago, a lot of people get caught slipping and, you know, a lot of people beefing with one another on the same block and stuff. You have to be mindful of that, you know what I'm saying?